let's just get into it. Um, there's Bug. He's snoozing away on the bed like he normally is. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're just going to kind of do a chit chat, get ready with me. I have a ton of new products that I have recently um, ordered and they've all come in and I just kind of want to play with them and try them out. Um, we are in my bedroom at the moment as the rest of my apartment is a total mess still for moving. We finally have a move in date which is really really nice um, but it is like a month and a half away so the rest of the place is just a nightmare. This is the only room that's still together. Um, and then you guys get the privilege of seeing my pug again. He's always there, sleeping, snoring, being adorable. Um, all right, let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, I don't really have any idea of what I'm going to be doing today, but the first thing I always do is put on a lip balm, and this is just the Balm de Rose lip balm um, from By Terry. It smells nice, and it feels nice on the lips as well. I've already primed my face. Um, I do have a new primer as a sample um, but that I want to try, but I already put the other primers that I normally use on my face um, down, which is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter mixed with the Marc Jacobs. What is that called? The coconut one. It's mixed with the Marc Jacobs Invisible primer, the moisturizing one. I really like this one as well. Um, I usually mix a pump of both of them and then smear it all over my face. Uh, and then I also have my under eye primer that I always use. I'm still trying to use up the sample, um, which is the Clinique Pep Start. I, I use that all the time. First thing we're going to do is actually go in with a, a sample primer. This is one of the new products from Benefit and this is the Pore Professional Pore Minimizing Makeup. It's supposed to be used, you can either use it as a foundation or a primer. I'm going to use it as a primer because it doesn't have a ton of coverage. Um, I have tried this on the back of my hand but I haven't actually tried this on my face to see if it helps with pores or not. I usually use my Makeup for Everyone. It does come with like a little applicator tip. It's like a little spongy, almost feels like a kitchen sponge. It's really really liquidy um, and it's this is in the lightest shade, which is shade one. It is slightly pink, or it looked really pink on the back of my hand. Um, I don't know how it's going to be actually on the skin, but I am going to use it with a little applicator. And just smush it into my pores. I think I'm just going to use my finger and tap it in. Oh, well, I don't know, guys. Maybe this sponge really punches it in there. I don't know. I think I might have gotten a little too much on it. So it doesn't seem to take a lot of this to go very far. I'm also sorry if you can hear my air conditioning. It's really, really hot today. It's also really cloudy and dreary out, um, but yeah. So I'm having to use my ring light. So everything's gonna be kind of blown out today. Um, I will do my best with lighting to turn it down when I actually go into the new foundation that I'm going to use, which I am super excited. So with this, I don't really notice the difference in my pores. It does supply like a nice light coverage, but nothing that a really lightweight uh, CC cream or BB cream wouldn't do. Um, and it's tacky, um, so it might hold on to foundation really well, but overall, I don't think I would buy the full size. It is like $30, I think, full size on Sephora right now. And it doesn't have really good reviews either. Um, it's not awful. It's not like making my pores bigger or looking or anything, but it's not helping making... It doesn't make them disappear like my Makeup Forever uh, smoothing primer does. So I don't, I don't know. It's not my favorite right now. Um, the next thing... Um, some of the other things that I picked up, I've actually been waiting a month and a half on. I ordered them as soon as they came available on the Ordinary Decium site, and that is the, the Colors Foundations. Now, I ordered both of them. I ordered both the Serum Foundation, which is the lightweight, low-coverage foundation, and I've ordered the full-coverage one. Um, I've tried both of them out, and actually, I really, really like the full-coverage one. Um, the lightweight is indeed lightweight. It feels really lightweight on the skin. It's very sheer coverage. It's really nice for every day. Um, it works really well. Well for my dry skin. I didn't have any issues with it, but it is really nice lightweight coverage. Um, and then the full coverage, um, this is what the packaging looks like on both. Um, both The packaging is the same on both of them, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you the packaging on the full coverage, which is the one that I'm actually going to use today. Throw that through my boxes on the floor over there. Um, so this is what the actual packaging looks like. They both look the same. They both come with a pump that has a turn on and off switch, so if you turn it one way, it allows you to pump, and if you turn it the other way, it closes it. Um, and I like the packaging. It's, gla it's not glass packaging. It's nice plastic packaging, so it's really travel-friendly. It's small. 
small. Um, it is one fluid ounce, so it's your standard, and it's like $7. Um, I tried this with my beauty sponge the first day. This wasn't the first one that I tried. I actually tried the the sheer one first because I thought that would be better for drier skin but guys this is really beautiful on dry skin as well and it has decent coverage I don't know if I would call it full coverage I would say it's more medium coverage for me um, but it applies and it just blends so nicely onto the skin and you need about one to two pumps uh, but yeah it's really really pretty I have the shade 1.0 NS if you guys want a more in-depth review on both of these like how the color system works like what the what everything means, let me know down below and I'll do that for you. It also explains everything on the website as far as picking uh, the colors and what the undertones are and everything. It has a ton of different colors too. Um, it's not yet available on Beautylish, which I was kind of waiting for it to, but I, I don't know if it's going to be coming available on Beautylish anytime soon. But I'm pretty happy with the color match. If anything, it might be a sh little tiny bit too light, um, but once I get my bronzer and everything else on, it, it really... It, it seems to work with my skin really, really well. It blends in super quickly, too. And it just... It evens out everything so nicely. Like, it, it doesn't sit on the skin at all. It, like, just soaks in. And the same thing with the serum one, uh, which I, I really liked. Um, so, yeah. So, when I'm filming this, it's, like, on Sunday. So, it's Memorial Day weekend. Um, and I'm not doing... I'm not doing anything. Just sitting here filming. My husband worked all weekend and uh, he works, I don't know if I've told you guys before, but he works seven days a week. Um, so uh, he can take off vacation days and he always racks up vacation days, so he can take off vacation days. But he pretty much works seven days a week. Um, pretty soon though, he's going to be starting where he gets every other weekend off. So that'll be really, really nice for when he were moved to Columbus. He's actually keeping his job. Um, even though we're moving to Columbus, he's keeping his job and he's just going to commute to work uh, once every two weeks. Uh, so yeah, um, we're pretty excited. But look, it's already blended in. It's so nice. I just, I really like this foundation. And it's not tacky on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy. It just, it just works. It works so well. And it doesn't cling on to any patches. And it does have it has nice medium coverage. I wouldn't necessarily say it was full coverage unless your skin was already, like, perfect. Um, my skin isn't that bad. I do have a few, like, acne scars, like, right here and on my chin. But other than that, my skin's not that bad. But I still wouldn't say it was full coverage. Oh, and in case you guys are wondering, no, my hair didn't grow magically overnight. Um, I actually went into my hair salon and uh, got... Uh, the halo hair extension so if you guys want to know anything about that let me know about that also um but yeah this is all fake my full fake hair i have it up in like a ponytail and everything you can wear it in low ponytails and stuff so um it removes you can take it out by the end of the day um and, and it works out okay um but here's a close-up of what the foundation looks like after it's been applied like I said, it works really nicely. It looks pretty nice on the skin. It doesn't emphasize my pores or anything. Um, and it blends in really, really nice. It has a nice texture to it. It's not heavy at all. The next new item, I have actually been really, really loving this. Um, I've had this since the VIB sale, but I've just now started to break into it and actually use it on a regular basis. And this is the new NARS uh, Cosmetics Matte soft matte concealer. Um, I have this in two shades. I have this in Chantilly and in Vanilla. Vanilla is pretty good for me for all over the face to kind of spot conceal, whereas Chantilly, I, I like it better for underneath my eyes because it's a little bit paler and it kind of does the highlighting for me. It has really nice coverage as well. Um, I am going to put it a little bit on my chin. I do like applying this with a sponge and like I dipped once in there and that's all you need for like your whole face. It really, it goes really, really far. It blends in really nicely and it sets down as well, so I don't feel that I need to set it. I actually really like wearing this um, concealer on days where I'm not uh, wearing any makeup at all and I just want something underneath my eyes to kind of counteract the dark circles because I don't have to set this. Um, I can just easily go in and blend it with my fingertip if it creases at all, which um, I think I wore it the other day for like 10 hours and this was the only thing I had on my face and I had it crease once on me and that was like two or three hours and I patted it out and once I patted it out I didn't have any other creases for the rest of the day and it stayed on my face all day. Um, I even took a nap in it so there you go. My dog thinks I'm really boring and it's really really brightening it looks really really good um, and can we talk about these sponges from L'Oreal? These have become like 
my favorite sponges ever. I'm like stockpiling them at the moment. They're really, really nice. They're squishy and they're soft. Um, nothing has replaced my beauty blender as of yet, but these, these are replacing my beauty blender. I, I really like these. Actually, I'm going to keep those because the next product we're going to use is another cream product. It's another new cream product. The thing we're going to go in with is the Naked Shapeshifter palette. Uh, I've had this probably for about a week and a half and I've been using it consistently for the week and a half to kind of try it out. And I actually really, really like this. I know that it has a lot of mixed reviews online. Maybe I just got a good palette and maybe other people didn't. Um, but I like the packaging. The packaging is nice and sturdy and heavy. I didn't have any issues with my palette coming broken or the things falling out, which I know a lot of people online that they were having issues with but it comes with four cream shades um the contour shade i really like the highlight shades okay it's pale enough for my skin but it's not something it's just not something that i use on a regular basis there's two correctors which i will probably never use and then there is a really pretty um really subtle cream highlight and then on the and it has a mirror on that side and then when you flip it over it has another mirror which is like the bulk of the weight of the packaging is this mirror it's really heavy um, and then on this side it has four powder products there is a beautiful powder highlight which is like woof, if you like that that glow that will give it to you um, there is a nice setting powder I personally this is okay when it's first applied, but through the day it starts looking really dry and cakey on my under eyes. Um, so I like to still set with other things, but it is a nice dusting powder for all over the face. And then there is the contour palette, which is pretty nice for pale skin. I really, really like this powder. It blends out really, really nicely. And then there, there then there is this bronze, this bronzer warm shade. I do not like this shade, um, not for my pale skin. It is just too pigmented, and it just. I just, I just don't like it. I, I don't get along with it very well. Um, but I have been actually really enjoying doing the cream contour and I use it with the butt end of the concealer one from L'Oreal and I just dig into it, get it on the little butt end and then I just apply it to my face. I will say that the set, the cream products set super, super quick. Um, they set down to like a powder like finish. Um, so I would not suggest going in and like putting this all over your face and then trying to blend it out because I don't think that will work very well for you. Um, you will end up having splotches and patches because it just doesn't blend once it sets very well. Um, you do have a little time to work with but if you're not fast, see how it just... just added that shadow right there and then I'm going to take the rest of it and do the same on this side. Um, like I said, just work in sections and you'll be alright. It'll, it'll do what it needs to do. Um, but yeah, it works really well. It lasts all day. And I know this is going to be a super long video, guys. I'm sorry. But I just kind of felt like sitting down and filming and chit-chatting because I've been, you know, like I said, my husband works seven days a week. And so I get to see him maybe for like an hour every day. Some, sometimes I don't get to see him at all, um, just depending on our schedules and how we clash with each other um but um so i'm gonna re-dip in there and i'm actually gonna do along the jawline really quick because you know i gotta conceal the double chin area down there um and i i usually i like applying it with the more precise one and then i go in with the bigger one that has the leftover foundation and i blend it out and i don't contour my forehead because i i feel like i have a normal forehead it might be kind of small and i'm sorry if i'm looking in the 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 viewfinder a lot because I'm kind of using it as a mirror instead of using the mirror that I have in front of my face. And I don't find this to be too drying either, the cream products. I, I actually really like this. Um, I honestly don't know why it's getting such bad reviews, but like I said, it's different for everybody. Um, so Something that one person loves, somebody else can absolutely hate it. Uh, so yeah, I actually been really, really liking this. It does, the mirror gets fingerprinty as you're holding it, especially like how I'm holding it. Um, but yeah, so that's what the actual cream contour looks like. And I will apply some of the cream highlights so you guys can see it. Like I said, um, overall this palette's like 45 bucks. Um, I do like a lot of the shades in here. So I, for me personally, I do think it's worth it. Um, however, overall, I mean, overall there's four shades within this whole palette that I'm just not going to use. So I'm not going to use half the palette, but I do really like the cream contour. Um, it's really easy to work with and I like the cream highlight as well. So you can see it adds just a little bit of glow, just a little bit of something and it blends really, really nicely over the foundation. It doesn't pick it up or anything. Uh, so for contour, I'm going to... So for contour, I'm going to take my number two brush from Wayne Goss and I'm going to dip it into the contour shade right here. Um, you don't need a lot. It is very pigmented, so I just over got a little bit too much. I'm going to tap some of it off. 
And then I'm just going to contour my face real quick. I don't have a new bronzer, so I'm going to go bronze my face with the Marc Jacobs Coconut Bronzer real quick. And this is on my Wayne Goss 00 brush. Um, it's a really nice color. It smells really good. To wipe away um, the under eye powder and everything, I'm going to use this new powder from IT Cosmetics. It's the Bye Bye Pores Illumination. I've been trying this out. It came out on QVC in a kit, so I ordered the kit. Um, basically because i also been wanting to try the Melt Away Cleanser as well as like the serum that came with it. Um, I gave the concealer to somebody because it's a little bit too heavy for me anymore, so I don't ever reach for it. Um, so I gave that away, but um, the actual... the rest of the kit I wanted to try out. Um, and so far, it, it works pretty well. It is a slightly illuminating. It kind of reminds me of how the hourglass powders are. Um, I wouldn't set my face with this, but I would use it kind of like how I'm using it now to wipe away bake and to kind of like as a finishing powder, more or less. Um, and this is the IT Cosmetics Jumbo Powder Brush. It's kind of ridiculous. It's the size of your face but it's super soft and when you wash it it doesn't hardly take any time for it to dry it dries so quick I don't know if you guys can tell it kind of gives like a light glow to the skin that I actually picked up is one of the new Anastasia blush palettes um, I got mine in uh, peachy love but these golly these are super pigmented like super pigmented like oh my goodness just be careful for wanting to be careful. And they're a little bit more pigmented than I personally would like for my fail, pale skin, but I'm gonna take this color right over here. This one looks way, uh, it's kind of showing up true to color. Um, these colors are showing up true to color in the viewfinder. Um, this one's really, really warm. Uh, they're all really, really warm. Um, this is something that I kind of like just for warmer eye looks, um, which is why I bought it, because I typically, for some reason I go even though I like warmer eyeshadows, I typically go for cooler tones and blushes. I, I don't know why. Um, but we're just going to apply a very small amount. I mean, you guys, like I barely touched it and there's pigment coming off. It's crazy. I mean, we might add a little bit more bronzer and stuff too. But this is the Wayne Goss 14 brush, which is just like a really light white brush. It's really good for a wash of color, which is why I grabbed it because these are so pigmented that I'm scared um both this shade and this shade have like micro glitter in them and um, they don't really show up on the cheeks the middle one I believe is matte but this one looks like it has micro glitter and this one has like a gold fleck in it and this one has more like a silver fleck in it which is the one that I'm using um they don't really show up oh never mind they do show up on the cheeks um a little bit not like ob obnoxiously where they make it look awful um where it emphasizes like things but it, but it is there so yeah overall i really like this if you guys were interested in this blush i would i would pick it up again um i would Ooh, I just spill water everywhere no okay um so if you guys were interested in those blushes i would definitely pick them up just be careful um because they are super super pigmented i would suggest using it with like a really fluffy brush uh, so the next thing I usually go in with is highlight uh, and I'm gonna go in with the Wayne Gost airbrush uh, I really like this one for highlight I like this one for blush I like this one for a bunch of reasons I have two of them because I like to use it for a bunch of different reasons um, but this highlight is from the Urban Decay one um, I figured we would use this it's the only new highlight that I have so We'll, we'll give this a go. Um, it is a lot more um, in your face metallic wet looking than I personally typically go for. But I think it will be pretty this summer. I mean, come on. You guys can see that, right? It's like crazy. Um, it is light enough for my pale skin as long as you don't uh, build it up a ton. So I would say one layer uh, for pale skin, for really pale skin, is all you can do before it starts looking too too dark on the skin. But it buffs in really nicely. Um, it doesn't seem to make my texture look awful or anything. Um, we're going to put a little bit on the nose because I, I like highlighted, a little highlighted nose. I don't like overly highlighted, but 
had like, like a natural highlighted nose, I guess. I don't know. And then I don't usually do the Cupid's bow, but we'll do the Cupid's bow today. And then whatever's left on the brush, I just kind of sweep everywhere because that's how I roll. All right, so that is the naked the new naked palette. The eyebrows are on. Um, I used my Fiona Styles in Warm Brown, my normal brow precise mascara in my eyes as well. And both uh, the brow precise is in the shade Auburn, and then the other one's the eye pencils in the Warm Brown. I got this little little tiny thing of Glam Glow, uh, the Glow Setter. I don't know how I feel about this. It's not anything special to me. Um, it's it's not replacing my uh, Milani setting spray. I'm going to use it up before I open another one though. It does have like a super fine mist, which is really, really nice, and it does make your face a little bit glowy. So I don't know how, pe how people with oily skin would feel about this, um, but it does have a beautiful misting, and it has a nice citrus, like, orange sweet smell, which I really like. So I have you guys zoomed in a little bit, because we're going to do my eyes next. Um, I just purchased this Fiona Styles Invisible Eye Primer off of Ulta. It was like $8, because um, like I said, they're di because they're discontinuing her line, I believe, from Ulta. Um... It's a really nice eye primer. Um, actually, guys, um, I told you, you guys, oh, probably most of you saw the video about my disappointment with the Natasha Denona palette. Um, so what I did was, um, when, that I, when I saw that it came back in stock at Sephora, I actually ordered a new palette, um, and I returned the original one that I had, um, because I just couldn't get it to work for me. Um, and then, uh, so... So I ordered an original one and I have the new one in and I wore it actually yesterday and I wore it with this primer. And I have to say that while I feel like this primer definitely helped with it to stay on my eyes a little bit more, it still didn't have the longevity of my Viseart shadows or my Anastasia shadows. Um, it, it definitely stayed on there better and the mattes didn't disappear as quickly. Um, so if you wanted to give this primer a shot, I would definitely give it a shot. Um, I honestly don't know whether it was the primer or that worked for me in my skin type or whether it was that I just got a dud of a palette. I, I don't know. Um, I am going to try this palette out a few more times. I'm going to try it with, without primer um, here in a couple days, uh, but today I'm going to I'm gonna put on my primer. Um, so this is the Fiona Styles primer. We're not gonna use the Natasha Denona palette today because uh, I have a couple of other palettes that I want to play with. Um, but I do have like I do have it, and it's this is the new one. I, I like I said I wore it yesterday with the primer, and though it didn't make it last all day, like literally they were still worn off uh, by the 10 hour mark or the 8 hour mark, they were still kind of worn off. But with the primer, with the Fiona Styles primer yesterday, when I wore the Natasha Denona palette yesterday, it lasted for about 6 hours on me, which is a hell of a lot longer than what it was lasting before. Um, even with the, all the other primers that I tried it with, I would get about 2 hours and then it would be gone. Um, so it lasted with it for about 6 hours with that primer. So there, there's hope. Um, but the eyeshadow palettes that I have today to share with you are... If I can get them out. I don't know what's wrong with me. I have a lot of new eyeshadow palettes. Um, I have the Narcissus for being, for not being an eyeshadow person. I have literally four eyeshadow palettes. I have the Natasha Denona. I have the new Narcissus one. I haven't even taken off the uh, sticky stuff. I can't do it. I can't do it. I leave it on. Um, I have the new Narcissus one. I have the Dose of Colors one and the brown. The, mar the baked browns, um, and then I have um, a company that I have been wanting to order from for a long time, and I've gotten them in subscription boxes, but I've never actually placed an order for. Um, I got some Makeup Geek shadows, and what prompted the Makeup Geek shadows is I was looking for dupes for the Natasha Nona palette, in all honesty, mainly the yellow. Um, but yeah, these are the, the colors that I picked up from Makeup Geek. I think two of these are actually ColourPop, so I only picked up five, and then I had two from Makeup Geek. So I wanted, why I placed the order was for this color right here. This is Lemon Drop. It is not a dupe for the Natasha Denona Yellow Soul color, uh, but it is really pretty. You have to put it over a white base for it to show up, um, but it has a sheen to it, which is not what I was looking for, but it is still a really pretty, pretty yellow. And I wanted Chickadee. Chickadee, I, I've been wanting Chickadee for a really, really long time. I just, I don't know why I haven't broke down and actually bought anything off of the Makeup Geek website. Really fast shipping. Um, came beautifully packaged, really nice, and then I bought one of the bolts because I thought that if I actually put it in a smaller palette that I would actually grab for these single shadows more often, which has been true, to be honest. 
And the other things that I picked up from her was I picked up the contour kit that she offers. Uh, it comes with the two, the cool tone and the warm tone, and I picked it up in the lightest shade, so the porcelain shades. And then I also picked up um, two blushes and a couple of brushes. And one of these brushes I am definitely going to be buying more of because it is wonderful. Um, it, it picks up foiled shadows and just if you want a packing good, really good packing brush, this is this brush is freaking bomb. Um, I, I don't even I don't even know how it does it, but it's beautiful. Um, so I have the new Wayne Goss brushes as well to use. I've used them a couple times, and guys, if you have hooded eyes, mm, these these are going to be your brushes of your dreams. These work beautifully for hooded eyes. I just they just work. Um, but this is the brush that I was talking about from Makeup Geek. Um, it is called the Foiled Eyeshadow Brush, and it it literally it works. so so well at picking up color and it basically it deposited it whatever shade you use and you put it on the eye it makes it look foiled without even putting spray on like it makes it look like you finger swatched it basically it's this brush is magical I'm gonna they're like eight dollars and fifty cents so I'm gonna be picking up like two or three more of these because I think this is gonna be like my brush for packing color on the lids I love it um, and then of course the way new Wayne Gone brush Wayne Goss brushes and I also picked up a Defiance Shader Crease brush from Makeup Geek. They're super soft. I'm really happy with the quality of the Makeup Geek eyeshadow brushes. Um, and then I have my other two makeup, my Wayne Goss makeup brushes. Um, as far as palettes go for today, I don't know which one I want to use. This is what the Dose of Colors one looks like. It comes with a nice brush, nice warm colors. They're all really pigmented, all really beautiful on the eyes. They blend out amazingly and they last all day without a primer. Um, but yes, these these are beautiful. I, I, I'm really impressed with the the quality of the Dose shadows. I will definitely be, they, they are definitely now on my radar and I'll be picking more up um, as I go along. But um, I don't know, I kind of want to use this palette too because I haven't used too much of the Makeup Geek stuff yet. So I think I'm going to actually go in with the Makeup Geek shadows for right now. I'm going to start off with, I think, Chickadee. And I'm going to go in with this brush from Wayne Goss, which is the new 16 brush. And I am just going to be brave, and I am just going to apply that all over my crease. Um, I've only tried two of the shades for Makeup Geek once before, which I don't know why I've always been so hesitant to order from them. Um, because I like Marlena, like I like her channel and I follow her, so I don't, I don't know. But I finally did, and I've... I've been really, really happy with them. I've been really happy with all the quality from all the products so far that I've gotten from Makeup Geek. Look how beautiful that is. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. And if you have hooded eyes like me, make sure that you're always, you don't want to be looking down when you're doing your makeup. You kind of want to be looking forward. Um, so you can kind of get above your crease right here to kind of get the shades to show up or else your, your crease and your lid kind of swallow them up. I don't always follow that rule myself. It's not really a rule. You don't have to follow it if you don't want to. You can do your shadows the way you want. Um, that is the fun of makeup, right? You you do it the way you want and the way that makes you happy. I think I'm going to take a little bit of the deeper shade and I think this this is Morocco. This one is Morocco from Makeup Geek and this is on the number 06 brush from Wayne Goss, which is one of my favorites. This one's a little bit deeper of a color and I'm going to put that right there on the outer corner. I don't think this is going to go with the shirt or the dress that I'm wearing today. I don't know, but that's okay. It's okay if it gets on the lid, I don't care. And just, just rub it all over. And I actually think I'm going to go in with the yellow shade, so I'm going to take white or milk from NYX and I am going to put that where I want that lemon drop color. I know a lot of you said with the Natasha Denona palette that some of the shadows work better with your nails. I personally do not like using my nails, uh, mainly because I can't get in there with my, my nails. Uh, my nails are, I have natural nails and they're really, really long. Um, so it's really, really hard for me to get into the eye socket with my nail. So I don't, I just, if I have to use my nails, it's the same reason why I don't reach for the ColourPop 
super shock shadows they're beautiful if you use your fingers they're kind of difficult to use with a brush but they work better with your fingers but i just can't use them because i guess not with my nails I, I end up digging into them and are ruining the shadow um so i'm going to take the foiled brush with that yellow look how pretty it is it's so vibrant and i am just going to plop that all over oh look at that so pretty and just pack it on and this brush does all the work for you it is so freaking fantastic i love it But over that white, that shade just pops like crazy. All right. So I think I'm going to go in with a shade from the Narcissist palette. I'm going to take this shade right here and just kind of buff out the outer edge right here because it's a little bit deeper. Kind of blend it in and maybe go into the crease a little bit with it. A deeper color. So this really small brush this is the number 20 from Wayne Goss and I am going to take I don't know I think this is Coco Bear yeah Coco Bear from Makeup Geek right here um and I am going to apply this right here on the outer edge and kind of deepen up the crease just a little bit and then you're just going to repeat on the lower lash line um you don't have to put the yellow in. Oh, maybe we will. Um, on the lower lash line, I'm also going to go in with that yellow. I'm not going to go in with the stick underneath. I probably should have, but I'm not. And then just repeat the colors. So bright it's so pretty I'm so excited and I I think uh, that's all I'm uh, actually we're gonna take this little brush and you can use any dark brown you want I'm just gonna grab this one because I'm just I'm wanting to use all of the color all of the palettes I'm gonna use the really dark shade in the dose of colors palette right here and this is on a Juvia's Place angled brow brush but I like to use this to really get up into the lash line and to kind of smudge it um, just to kind of add some depth to my lashes. Right there. There you go. Just like that. So there's one with the brown smudged up in the lashes and that's without it. So for mascara today, uh, we're going to use the YSL, the shock mascara. I have it on one that's just one coat. This is in the blue color. Yes, I just got this in. I'm super excited to try it. So I really love the burgundy color and the black. Um, this is like my favorite mascara at the moment. Uh, so I have it in all three colors and I, I use all of them um, in transition, but I just got the blue and I wanted to try it. Um, this formula is a lot more clumpy and wet than the burgundy one. I don't, and I got it all up there, but that's okay. Um, but it's blue. I was expecting it to be like a deep, deeper navy blue, but this, this is blue. I mean, you still have to kind of get up close to the eyes to see it. The next new thing that I purchased, I don't think it's going to go with the look today, is actually it might. It's a really natural looking. Um, this is the new, one of the new Dior lip tattoos. Oh man guys, I wore this all day the other day and it lasted all day. It stained your lips and it, it kind of is like a sweet lemon taste to it and it smells like a lemon, kind of like a sweet lemon almost not lemon head but like kind of like a sweet lemon candy it's kind of what it smells like to me i i really like these dior lip tattoos i wish they had more neutral looking shades um than the brighter because they have really bright pink ones and they're they're really bright they're too bright for me for everyday wear but this one is in uh natural rosewood and i really like these these are really really pretty on the lips um they look really nice they apply nicely the only thing that I would say that if 
is if you have really, really dry lips, it does cling to the dry patches as it wears off throughout the day. Um, you see like darker spots on your lips. Um, so if you have really, really dry lips, I don't think you'll like this as the effect wears off. Um, but it's not too drying on the lips. And my favorite way to wear it is actually with a with the new Makeup Forever lip stuff. Um, it's actually on my first. I don't even remember what it's called. But you know, like the new the, the lip prep stuff from Makeup Forever, that. I keep that in my purse with this and I reapply it throughout the day. Oh man, it's wonderful. Um, so I am going to try this color out. It's what it looks like. I don't know how I'm going to want it like it with this eye. But it's a little intense at first. It smells good. It just smells... I just like the way it smells. It's kind of like a pepperminty lemon smell, and I, I don't know, I just like it. They're like, they're not very tinted either, and I would say that the applicator does put out a little bit too much. Um, it just kind of looks like your lips, but better, and I like that for an everyday lip look. Like, this is going to be like my go-to. They're a lot like the Kevin Aquan lip enhancer things, um, like the texture of it. It's really kind of almost pillowy. But it makes your lips look nice. We made it. And if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Um, I know it was a really, really long one. I know I'm going to have like a beast to edit this thing. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really liked the eye look. Uh, I actually really, really like how it turned out. It's really, really bright. It's something that I wouldn't wear on a normal day's basis because... I just don't ever wear bright colored eyeshadows, but I really, really like the way this turned out. Um, so thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys the next time.